Hello viewers, welcome to this new video of a special site. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do expect calculation, how you can make expect map in QGIS. So for this, firstly, I'm going to load my DEM data. My data, I'm simply going to click this and I'm going to drag it in this in this last panel. Okay, my data has been loaded here now I am going to go on this processing toolbox and I am going to search here for expect okay under, under raster analysis in GDL section you can get this uh, GDL expect so click it here then you need to load in this parameter settings you need to in give input this DEM data in this input layers which by default it has been given here and other thing that you need to adjust here is okay if you take this mark rate and geometric angle instead of azimuth then your output will come in the trigonometric angles instead of azimuth azimuth means it varies from 0 degree to 360 degree we, we are going to see this later on so other things i'm going to keep all these settings by default and i'm simply going to save this so here i'm going to give this his name expect underscore virtual okay simply save and click run okay now we have got our expect data and you can see this expect varies from 0 to 358.36 degree that means this is the azimuth that has varies from 0 degree to this degree now we got the expect data but we actually have not done its classification and we are going to declassify this expect data and according to the directions we are going to name it it is whether north east west or other things so for this first i'm going to show you something here so this is the main thing here you need to note one thing is that expect is the directional component of slope that means when there will be slope if there will be slope value then there will be only expect but when the terrain is flat there is no slope that means there will also not be any kind of expect so if there is no any kind of slope then at that time the slope hello will be minus one so and when the slope exists and expect measures from clockwise direction starting from zero degree here and it returns back again to 360 degree here for our purpose we are going to reclassify this expect values which is from zero to 358.36 degree in our case now what we are going to do do here is that we are going to reclassify it we are going to keep north from 315 degree to 45 degree and east from 45 degree to 125 degree and south from 125 degree to 225 degree and west from 225 degree to 315 degree so we are going to do its reclassification so for the reclassification we are simply going to go on raster click on this raster calculator and now we are going to keep some expression here so I already have I already built this expression so I am going to simply copy and paste this here but in your case the expect data may be quite different so what you need to do is you need to click on this your expect data for example expect if you double click this then you are going to get that here you are going to get that value here so for now i'm not going to do anything i'm just going to explain this statement then i will click ok so here expect underscore bootle is the expect data that i want to classify what you need to know here is if that expect value is zero and it will be greater than zero greater than zero and what is it's smaller than equal to 45 degree that means 0 to 45 degree 
0 to 45 degree comes under that north section that we have given here 0 to 45 degree comes under north section other thing you need to and other is expect is greater than 315 that's what we wanted yeah we wanted from 315 degree it should be greater than okay it's then it will be greater than till 45 degree okay north is done then after this is done then uh, if these two conditions are satisfied here then it will get value one it will be multiplied by one and the value that will be stored will be one later you are going to see this one two three and four kind of value and other thing is if expect is greater than 45 degree if expect is greater than 45 degree and it is smaller than equal to 125 degree greater than 45 degree and smaller than equal to 135 degree that means it will be the section and it will get the value 2 okay let it will get the value 2 and other is expect greater than 135 and smaller than 225 greater than 135 and smaller than equal to 235 degree it will get the value 3 here okay and another one is expect greater than 225 and is smaller than equal to 315 greater than 225 and expect is smaller than 315 and it will get the value 4 and the most important thing here is if your data has no any kind of slope any kind of steepness whether it is 0 degree if even it is 0 degree your data has 0 degree slope then that means there will be expect but there is not any kind of slope then what we are going to do is expect value is smaller than 0 smaller than equal to it will come under not section smaller than 0 then we are going to multiply this with 0 and it will get the 0 value this depends on your data if your data is flat then you are going to see this zero range else you are you are not going to see this range okay we are done with this then we are simply going to save it okay let's say it reclassify expect okay we are done with this now we are going to click okay okay restore calculation has been completed now we are going to see now you can see this value ranging from one to four and here what we value gave in raster calculator was ranging from one to three four you can see and zero also we gave but zero is not displayed here that means your data is not flat it's all slow data so other thing now we are going to we are going to keep some kind of symbology here simply double left click this option then go to symbology in render type choose unique plated values okay simply classify and click on apply okay you are going to see this now what the lastly you what you can do is this one that you have got here this one is which degree we have taken it we have made it not yeah this one means not and this two means the value that we have given for two is east and three south and this will be west so okay now this is the final expect data you can see here and you can see you can do the analysis here this blue portion this watery blue portion that you have seen here it, it is slope face to our slope face towards waste this southern region you can see this purple these regions of these hills are face towards south and this red portion these are face towards east so slope so that's it and other and one more thing one more important thing that you can note here is you can you are seeing this kind of this white values but there is no any such white classification here then you need to remember this this white value is the cell values that has no any kind of elevation data 
you can simply press ctrl shift i and select and now see here and click in this white region you you can see here there is no data so it depends upon the uh, quality of dim data that you have used here in your case you might not see these white values and you might see all these four ranges and you could have seen that flat terrain in which we have used this classification which will be less than zero you could also have seen this and you could have seen you could have seen that one another value here another color that that would have represent the flat terrain and other thing is and if you press here you are going to see this four four means this is west and which you have given that classification values here i'll provide all these links in the description so thank you guys for watching this video we are going to meet soon in other video thank you